How are you? Welcome to Going Forth. Hey, and by the way, meet my lovely wife, Mrs. Going Forth. <laughs> so we decided to go skiing a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was nice to get away to a place where we've been once before many years ago. We traveled there a few hours and made our way and uh, suited out for uh, skiing. And we traveled, we, we saw the top of the mountain, it was pretty dry, but uh, at least we got to, to experience it. As a, I try to help my wife learn how to ski or relearn because it's been so many years since we've done this together. I noticed something about the way she was skiing. She kept looking at the tips of her skis right in front, looking down. And I said, hey, hey, babe, please, look up. Look up. Don't just look down. Look ahead. Look where you want to go. Tell your mind, tell your body what you want it to do and where you want to go. After thinking about this for a long time, I just, I just now I thought of it's like that with sin. When we become that sinner that we tend to be, that sinful sinner that we're stuck in a rut just thinking about that sin, it's like we're just looking down at the tips of the skis, looking at what's right in front of us, at what's temporary, what is passing, what is keeping us from going where we want to go, focusing on that goal, which should be Lord, our Lord, our Christ, our Lord Jesus, our Father in heaven. So look beyond this temporal sin, look beyond this temporary world that we're living in. And I'm encouraging you to look ahead Look beyond, look ahead, and now you have the power of Christ with your guardian angel and all the saints and all of us here on earth helping each other to heaven. Think about that. I thought it was pretty interesting. You have a blessed time, and we'll talk to you later.